For today's DIYs, we will be making five under five dollars home decor dupes. I'm Daniela with DD's Art Workshop. If you like staying on a budget and DIYs, this channel is for you. If you're new, make sure to subscribe because we just became best friends. This DIY challenge is hosted by Missy from Crafty Cove DIY, Emily from Farm Charm Chic, and Christine from DIY Craftaholic. Jump right in and let's get crafty. Our first DIY is this welcome sign and we're going to be remaking this with a Dollar Tree wood plaque. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using some acrylic white paint and I'm going to give it kind of like a washed off look and you can dry brush this if you'd like. Either or will work and we're doing it just like so. Pretty simple. And you guys, the sign that I did show you, it is an inspiration. I am not doing it exactly like it. I'm just going off of it and it's just my inspiration. So I try never to do identical because it's kind of hard to do it identical because either you don't have all the material or you just want to give it your own spin. But this is my inspiration. So I really liked the outcome. Just wait and see the final DIY. I'm now using these poster stickers that I had from Dollar Tree and I am just going to be putting all of these stickers to spell welcome. Once that's done, I have these little leaves from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna be cutting the little leaves off and I'm gonna be gluing them on my sign and I really like how it gives it a different texture you can paint them on I was actually considering painting it but I wanted to do something different I didn't want to paint I always paint my DIYs and I thought this was just gonna give it a pop and just go ahead and just glue it with your hot glue gun and I also had these other little leaves from Dollar Tree as well in my craft stash and they are a little bit smaller so I'm going to be mixing the bigger leaves with the little leaves and just putting them all around my sign. Now you can also seal your sign before gluing your leaves. You can add Mod Podge or you can seal it with your favorite sealer. And this is the final look. Please stick around to the end so you can see all of the DIYs put together. And for a closer look on this craft, let me know what you think of this welcome sign for less than $5. For our second DIY, we will be making these Dollar Tree pumpkins in a box. I found this little box at Dollar Tree and it's the perfect size for this DIY. I'm going to be using this chalk brown paint and I'm going to go ahead and use some wipes. And what I'm doing here is I'm dipping the little baby wipe inside the paint. And I think I put a little too much, but just get a little less and go ahead and just spread it all around your, your wooden box. And if you want a darker color, just use a darker brown. And this is another way to give your wood a stained look with using acrylic or chalk paint.
Now for this DIY, I am going to be adding a little bit of white over my brown. I just decided to do this last minute and you can just dry brush it. I am just adding a little bit just straight onto the wood and this is just to give it that rustic feel. Now that the painting is done, we are going to be using these three little pumpkins that I had from Dollar Tree and they are super super cute you guys and the perfect size for this DIY. And I'm going to be placing the bigger pumpkin at the bottom and I'm simply going to remove the little stem and glue this down. pumpkin had these little flowers and decor at the top and we're going to keep these because we're going to be using some of these for this DIY and the others for another DIY we're going to be doing in this video and I'm simply gluing the second one down as well. Spanish moss which I always have handy. I'm going to add a little bit all, all on the empty spots of the bottom of my pumpkins. Now remember the little flower, the leaves and the berries and the decor that are removed from one of my little pumpkins? Well, we are going to be using those same little details to glue all around my pumpkin just to give it a little pop. I will also be adding a little bit more greenery that I had in my craft stash and just gluing it all around just to fill it in more in between the pumpkins. And this is the final look, you guys. Please stick around to the end of this video for a closer and better look on this DIY. Let me know what you think. I am loving it. Our third DIY is inspired by this dome decor and I'm gonna give it a fall twist. I had this large dome decor that I purchased at Target last year and it was about $5, I don't remember, but I'm going to be adding some Dollar Tree details. This candle is an LED candle and it's the skinnier, larger one. I'm going to be placing it in the center and adding little details all around for my craft stash. I'm adding little greenery, little pine cones, and these little cherries. And you guys, it's so simple, but that final product is just I am loving it you guys and I love how you can change whatever is inside of this dome. You can just change it for whatever season is next. This is the final and simple look. Please stick around to the end to see a closer look of this DIY and to see all of the DIYs together. Our fourth DIY is this pumpkin arrangement and of course we're also going to be using Dollar Tree items. I'm going to be using this little crate and this little styrofoam that I had in my craft stash and I'm simply going to be cutting the top and the bottom so it fits inside my little crate. Now I should have done this step first but it's okay, it's never too late. I'm gonna use my baby wipe once again and I'm gonna give it that stained look with my brown. And this time I'm only gonna be using brown. That's done. I'm going to be using a little bit of my foam block that I also had in my craft stash, placing it on top of that circle I've already glued. And now the fun part, all of our beautiful fall flowers. And I am simply using what I already had, including the flower and leaves that were on my pumpkin in my second DIY.
guys and I'm loving this fall centerpiece decor you guys it's little but it's super cute you can make it bigger by doubling the little crates I just wanted to make it small so it could be under five dollars and all of these little things are from home so yes it is under five because I'm just picking here and there from flowers and from greenery that I already had at home let me know what you think in the comments below I really really like this one you guys our fifth DIY is a light bulb mini terrarium for fall I found this little light bulb at Dollar Tree and I found it I believe last year or a few months ago and I'm gonna be using this little floral foam block which we did use earlier and I just have a lot of these little pieces in my craft stash because I use them a lot and I'm gonna be using this as my little base I'm adding little flowers that I had little pine cones in different sizes and I'm gonna be gluing these because they keep falling off and this is just gonna be our little floral arrangement we're making for this terrarium and I am adding a little Spanish moss all around that way you can't see that block to add my little miniature arrangement or my little flowers and pine cones to the center you can glue it down I'm not gonna do so because I want to be able to change this little light bulb terrarium I'm adding some rocks just to weigh it down and that way I don't have to glue my little block down now let's see all of our DIYs together. I don't know which one is my favorite. I can't decide. Maybe it's the centerpiece. I'm not sure. I love them all. I love the little terrarium, the little three pumpkins stacked on each other. I love them all, you guys. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. And if you do make any of these, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. I'd like to read you 1 John 4:18. There is no fear in love. Perfect love casts out fear. I pray today that if you have any fear, that God's perfect love removes it from your life and hugs you with his perfect love. Thank you so much for crafting with me. Don't forget to like, subscribe. It really helps my channel. And of course, don't forget to spread love, kindness, and stay crafty.